Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in today's tutorial, I'm showing you how to work with Julia 1.0 in Juno. So, what is Juno? So, Juno is a very powerful IDE which is built on top of Atom. So, if you don't have Atom, just go to atom.io, then you just download the base on your system, right? Whether it's Windows or Linux or any, any system. So, after installing Atom, you just need to have access to Juno. So, how do you work with Juno? You just open your Atom test editor. So, after opening it, you just go to packages. Then you go to settings view, right? So packages settings view, then you go to install packages. That is one of the methods. Or you can just go with shift control P. Then you just open your command palette. Then you enter install packages. So that is showing here, right? So settings view, then you click on install packages. So you to open your settings for your install packages. So inside your install packages, you just enter Uber like the car, then Juno. So it's going to be the first result. So Uber Juno, then you click on it. So it's going to show something like this. So you just click on it, install, then install it. It's going to ask you permissions to install some dependencies. So after installing it, you'll be able to have access to it. So you restart it and then you have Julia appearing here. So in case you install Juno Uber and then you don't see the Julia here, you don't see it appearing here, just go to your file, then you go to config, right? So if you go to config, it's going to open your configuration file. Then you see that it was able to install the Julia client. That means that it was able to install it. Then you just go to Uber Juno here. And then in most cases, in case you are not seeing it, you're going to see that disable is going to be set to false. So you change this from false to true, right? Then you save it, then you restart your atom on your Juno. Okay, so when you restart, it's going to appear in a very nice format, which is going to be like this. So this is how it's going to be. So this is the repo, so it gives you the option of doing a lot of things. So how do you get Julia 1.0 in it? To get Julia 1.0 in it, if it's, if Julia 1.0 is the only version on your system, it's automatically going to pick it. But if it's not the only version, you can also go to Julia, then you go to settings, and when you go to settings, you come to settings here, right? It's going to show the Julia part, which is the default one. So by default, it's going to pick your default Julia system on your system. But if you want to get Julia 1.0 on it, just go straight away to the default part open your the location where you store your Julia 1.0 so you see that inside my system here I have inside my users you go to app data the local right so app data local that is if you're Windows I have different versions of Julia so I'm going to select Julia 1.0 open it come to my bin file here then I'll copy the path to my Julia 1.0 right or Julia 1.0 any of them copy this one and then I'll come to my settings here and then paste it here right so that is it yeah perfect don't forget the extension julia one julia dot ex right that is a file extension very very important and after that you say after that you just close it and then re restart your system perfect. so when you restart it's going to give you that press enter to start julia for the repo and then to get to the repo you can just go with control and then j and then control Oh, right, it's going to open the repo for you. So let's create a simple file. Okay, so I'll open my file here, right? Open my file, control O to pin a particular file that I have. So I have this here, which is a simple file that I've created. You have to make sure that the extension is .jl, right? So this is a simple file. So if I want to run it, I can just go straight away with shift and enter. It's going to run it or control shift enter. Any of them is going to open. So when you do shift and enter, it's going to show this as cluster. That means that it's, it's loading, right? It's loading perfectly. Then the result can be seen here. So we can position it somewhere here. Let's position the repel below here, right? You can position anywhere that you want it to be, right? So that you can have the your stuff here. So the result has come here, right? So it's loading here. That's loaded the result perfectly. Here. That is one of the ways. So if you want to get the plotting, you can just go to a Julia, then open plot pane. It's going to open the plot pane in the particular place so that you can do you can see all your plotings here. Then you can also check for the workspace and also open the workspace to check a lot of things. So there are several things you can also do in this particular package. So it's very, very nice and very, very powerful. So you can just copy this way here, right? Just as, as, as you want. Okay. So that is how to work with it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any question or contribution, you can just put it in the comment section so that everybody can benefit. And please don't forget to subscribe. Stay